darkness hungered for our world. Its evil titans led armies without limit. Mortals alone could not win this war. We fled to the heavens, hoping that the legend was true. That in times of peril, new titans would rise. Heroes to help us rebuild and to lead our strongest against the dark. We must forge new alliances, but if the dawn is ever to come, the Titans must rise once more. How's it going everyone? Darshi Gong here, gaming on the dark side. G-O-T-D-S. Got this. Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be covering the brand new updated calendar from D-O-T. As you can see here, this new calendar is going to cover the entire month of June, which is great gives us a lot of chances to you know prepare for what you want to go for there's a lot to cover here so hey let's get started the first event we're going to cover starts today monday june 8th it's going to be assault this is uh well it's definitely a grinders event because there's no way around it if you want to do it you're gonna to have to grind it but it's worth it guys the xp potions the forging food for your relics um, you get some good DEGs. It, it's overall, man, it's a great event to do. I know it's work, but take the time, do it, get it done. You won't regret it, especially with this weekend's event coming up. You're going to want those XP potions. All right, on June 10th through the June 14th here, we're going to have an Alliance War, Apostate Inferno. Now, the Apostates are going to be the DG Titans Nephilinus and Grothorn. Inferno is probably going to be the fire one, so I'm saying it's going to be Nephilinus this weekend coming out. Now, remember, she's the pyromancer, and she's all about the fire stuff, right? You can see her skills here. You can just pause the video and check them out if you guys want to, or check out the blog. Um, I'm wondering, though, is she also going to come with her opus in the event? If so, then that makes this event worth 13000 divine gems because right now you can get nephilinus for 12k gems and the opus for another thousand um if the opus isn't in there well still a great deal guys if you can do an event for i'm i would guess probably about twenty six thousand souls or so get nephilinus it's worth it because so, uh, those dgs can go towards relics rather than wasting them or i should say spending them on a titan I'm not saying that nephilinus is bad um she's definitely cool it's up to you guys what you want to do, but that's my guess for this weekend. It's going to be Nephilinus. Moving into the next week on Monday the 14th, we're going to have ourselves Conquest. And now there's a lot of us that have been waiting for a Conquest. I'm glad it's coming. There's a ton of relics I have to level up, a ton of Titans I got to level up. Conquest is where you guys are going to get those triple battle drops. Um... Do a thousand battles, guys, over that course of conquest, and you will be happy. Trust me, you'll have so much forging food for titans and relics, you won't know what to do with yourself. It's a great investment. Um, it's going to be Cobra's Curse, so I'm assuming it's probably going to be Wadjet, since if you look at the original event for Wadjet, it was the Cobra. And I have a feeling they're going to start bringing out these Egyptian titans now that they have the new Pantheon collections for them. Um, is he going to get a reskill? Probably not, but he probably will get an updated prestige, I'm thinking. And maybe, uh, I don't know if he'll have a, a synergy relic since it's a conquest, but I'm thinking eh, he might get something updated. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it will be Wadjet. So I'll put my money on that one there. Cobra's Curse. 
Then on June 17th, that Thursday, we have the next apostate war here for alliances. It'll be Plague. And if it's some of uh, the apostate, I think it will be, it will be Growthorn coming on out, the Venomancer. So um, it's kind of interesting we have two Venomancers, right, with Evador and, and Growthorn, which makes you think that they have to have an Earth one coming out, but you never know, right? Anyways, once again, go ahead and pause it if you want to look at his skills or just go to the blog and check it out. I, once again, I'm also wondering, are they going to toss in Growthorn's Opus? If so, this event is worth 13,000 Divine Gems for you. If not, well, it's at least worth 12,000 Divine Gems. So just keep that ready to rock, guys. Um, basically, the next three weeks or so, we've got a lot going on. So get ready to work. Moving into Monday the 21st, we're going to have another Altar of Abundance. Now, I think this is going to be a redo of the last one because the last Altar of Abundance got all messed up. I think it was supposed to be Infiltrators, and you ended up being able to get Paladins and other ones in there, so they had to stop it. Um, some people took advantage of that and were able to get you know extra prestige food, and they also got their tokens back. Um, I've been saving mine, as you can see. That's how much I got, 12 of my regular ones and 19 epics. I'm not going to use them on this one, though. I'm, I'm probably going to save them for the Ranger one. Because I'm hoping they'll be tossing in the um, uh, Archmages in there too. So I'll be able to get some extra Rangers that time. But hey, Altar of Abundance, a great time to get some prestige food if you do have the relics saved up for it. If you don't have the relics saved up for it, well hey, these next couple weeks, start saving up your Epic and your Titan tokens for the Altar of Abundance on Monday the 21st. Alright, on Tuesday, June 22nd, we're going to start the next Theaters of War, T-O-W. I have a feeling it's going to be Earth-based because the event that, that weekend is going to be Earth-based. This is a great time to, you know, hit some altars up there, those um, uh, little monuments that are above, like, where you pick up your lands, and get yourself, you know, some great relics, um, get some relics of war. Uh, you're also going to be able to hopefully have good luck and score some boost tokens for the weekend's event. Um, it's definitely worth it. My suggestion, if you want to maximize this um, event, is to wait until the silver lands are about halfway done or less and then gem those ones because the chance of being able to get yourself a boost token is pretty good from those ones and you can, um, you know, make your money back basically in a sense if you score a token it's worth it i mean spending you know let's say 100 to 200 gems for a token is a lot better than 2000 now like i said it is a gamble but it does seem to pay off more often than not during this event which is pretty cool um i really don't refresh my gold lands too much unless they're like really close but why why do those ones those are expensive um the bronze lands are useless so don't even worry about those ones all right so oh and don't forget the Titan monuments are also open, so hit all of them, and you can get you know your three Titans from each one of those ones there. So it's a lot of fusion food for your Titans. So keep that in mind. Don't forget that. All right, now starting here on June 24th, we have an Alliance War Giant Spain, and this is where I'm gonna get into some serious irresponsible predictions because a lot of us are wondering what the heck this is. I'm fairly certain no matter what it is, it's going to be an Earth-based event. Um, we're going to have an Earth Titan, right? Unless, of course, it's not with Thor. Let's just say, hypothetically, they toss Thor out with a reskill, right? They brought him back out a little while ago, and he had some interesting things going on. But it was more about his synergy with Mjolnir, right? Um, but they didn't offer Mjolnir in the event, but they did offer Thor. Now I'm thinking if they were able to reskill Thor a bit and all, then and put him in this event, that'd be pretty cool because um, he's technically a guy that does kill giants in mythology. But another person we can look at that kills a ton of giants, especially if you look at Greek mythology, is Hercules. Now Hercules is currently a three-star titan, but what if? Let's just say uh, let's just say they went crazy on us, man, and made him a four-star titan version of himself. And he comes out, and he is just insanely awesome. But the only thing with Hercules is he's physical. So that probably isn't going to happen either. So that gives us the OG Titan, Kronos. Now, Kronos, I think, will fit well, because I think Gaia is going to be available in the following event. But if not, 
we got Kronos, he's still great. And he'd be perfect for a reskill, um, a brand new synergy. He'd be a fantastic Titan to have come back out again, especially with his Omega Goliaths that he drops. Now, um, another YouTuber, Nadine. Uh, I'm sorry if I butcher your name and all that stuff. I'm always bad at pronouncing other people's names and all, so hopefully that's what it is. And all that did make a prediction that he thinks it could possibly be the Lithomancer, right? That would be the Earth Archmage. Now, I know some people are saying, well, the Archmages are done. Yes, no, who knows? If you look at um, the example of the Dragon Slayers, Gaia came out after the Amber of Dragons was released, and she's not even on that pantheon that you need to get in order to have the Amber of Dragons. However, she does get boosted by it, but you didn't need her to get it. So um, it is possible that we could have more Archmages still coming out. I would like to see that because their lore isn't finished yet, um, and I want to see more of what that storyline is supposed to be bringing out in the game, and I think it'd be a waste for them not to have an Earth-based Archmage, just like they need to have a Lightning-based Archmage. I mean, heck, even if they brought Zeus out and said he's going to be the Lightning Archmage, I'm fine with that, dude. Just got to make sure that we have something happening there with those last two elements in the game. We need them out. Um, as Archmages, otherwise it's kind of leaving things incomplete, at least in my opinion. So those are kind of the irresponsible predictions for that event. However, I mean, you can go from, you know, most likely what's going to happen to crazy theories. We're not going to know until we get closer, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Earth-based. It looks like they're going Earth for a while here, so just keep that in mind, guys. Moving on, on Monday the 28th, we have a Solar War, Earth in Harmony. This is going to go all the way through July 1st. Now, I have two predictions here, I think. It could either be Hachiman with an updated prestige skill and a new synergy relic, which I think would be great um, to have him kind of come in and, you know, be a, a great defender. I don't know if he'll be a meta defender like he used to be um, with just the power levels. If all they do is his prestige skill, there's just no way. But if they were to update all of his skills, do a reskill on him, they could do it. Or it's going to be Gaia, right? They're starting to bring out Dragon Slayers. We had Tarhuns come out. Gaia can come out now with a new Synergy Relic, um, updated Prestige skills, and make her into a crazy uh, attacker. I mean, because she's an attacker, an Earth-based attacker. And um, who knows? She could be the one that cracks Minerva and moving us on further into whatever this new meta is going to be, which... We'll see what happens. So those are my two predictions there on that solo war. It's either going to be Hachiman or it's going to be Gaia. So I'm kind of hedging my bets a bit, but obviously it's going to be something Earth-based. Last, we come to the big one here, the one that everyone's definitely wondering what's happening. On July 1st, we have an alliance war turning tides. Now, I've got two images up here. One is from a new dawn. This is when they were introducing the Arc Mages. Right? They call it a new dawn. Now the event itself, when Necromancer came out, wasn't a new dawn, but the way they described it. So some people are thinking turning tides, maybe it's the beginning of a brand new meta. But typically the names kind of go with whatever Titan is kind of coming out. It's more of a play on that, not so much the meta that they're beginning. Right. So if you look way back here when Poseidon came out, it was the rising tide event. So I'm feeling this will probably be a Poseidon event with an updated Poseidon. Um, if they do a full reskill on this dude, because um, he was a cool Titan in his own way, and I really do like uh, uh, you know Ice Titans and all that, but he wasn't really very good, at least not in my opinion. Um, some people probably liked him. I wasn't a big fan of his skills. He didn't seem to really do it for me. But if they did an awesome reskill, new prestige, um, even a Synergy Relic to kind of just really amp them up, we can have a pretty cool Ice Titan coming out um, with a new Poseidon. So that's kind of my bet for that event. It's going to be Poseidon, um, not necessarily a brand new out-of-the-box Titan for a new meta. But you never know. They could totally throw a curveball. They seem to like to do that um, whenever I make my videos here. So like I said, guys, these last two, well, last three events are my irresponsible prediction uh, events on my predictions. So just keep that in mind. Hey, either way, though, I'm glad that we have a lot to look forward to. And now for the final thoughts on this calendar update. 
like I said, I'm glad that we got a whole entire month of events to look forward to. There's definitely some interesting things coming out. Um, definitely a lot of events I'm going to be grinding out. So I'm like, ugh. But, hey, <laughs> that's the name of the game, right? Um, but yeah, you know, Grind of Titans. But no, seriously, on, on, on a, a meta note here, it looks to me, at least this is kind of my opinion, that they're going to kind of stick with the reskills for a little bit. They have a lot of catching up to do on a lot of these older Titans to kind of bring them into a relevant fighting mode for the current meta, which is, you know, such an insane power spike from the current, you know, from before that they have to bring these old ones up. I'm working on the video to kind of address that though. So keep, keep um, uh, your eyes open on that one, guys. That, that one's going to be getting some work going into that one. But that's another video for another time we'll talk about. Just keep in mind, guys, that right now, keep your eyes open for leaks um go to do you know to all your resources especially like the um uh, like the discord channel if you're not part of that join it and you know keep your eyes out for what's happening because if you're a free-to-play player like you know mo like some people are or a grinder like me you know resources in the form of gems and portal stones and event tokens are gold and you don't want to be just tossing them for nothing you know, you want to kind of pick and choose your battles, what you're going to go for, what you're going to need. Um, if the apostates are coming out, Nephilimus and Growthorn, and you haven't got them yet, those ones are worth going for. That's 24,000 divine gems you can save yourself by getting those guys. Um, when it comes to, you know, reskilled old titans, if you already have them, you might be able to skip those events and go for something else, you know, and save up for brand new Titans. However, I'm not too sure if within this month of July, you know, June to July here, the beginning of July, that we're going to see any brand new Titans, per se. Um, I think that'll probably start a little further into summer, going into fall, when they start fleshing out the brand new meta with brand new Titans. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the new DG Titans look like. When those ones drop, we'll have a more of an idea of what the future meta is going to look like because those guys should be what the new meta is based off of, you know, in theory. Anyways, guys, that's this week's video on the calendar event. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you stuck around this long, please hit that like button. Um, comment. Uh, it really does help me out with that YouTube YouTube algorithm when you guys comment. It kind of gets it out there to more people. It helps out a lot. And... Um, if I haven't earned it yet, hopefully today I did, please subscribe. I'm going for 1,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is at the end of July. So um, if you guys have already subscribed, then please share this video to people that haven't subscribed yet and tell them, hey, man, why don't you subscribe? This guy's channel's cool. And, you know, help me out because that's a big, big goal for me, trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, guys. That would be great. So until all that happens, though, I hope to catch all of you guys gaming on the dark side.